Hi! In this video, I will show you how to upload a KNX project file and how to connect your Parrot project to the device. Start by going to myextra.com and log into your professional account. To create a new project, select Add New Project from the Projects tab and set a name for the project. Choose which combination of voice assistants you will be using for your project. The Parrot device supports Apple HomeKit, Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant simultaneously. Click Change to save any changes. Start your project by going to Components and then click Edit to start adding components. A function in ETS is called a component in Parrot. Go to extra.com for a full list and a more detailed description of all components available on each supported voice assistant. Click Import KNX project file. The easiest way to set up your Parrot is to upload a KNX project file. Depending on how you have set up your project in ETS, you can choose from three ways of importing. You can import via ETS functions, import via a group or a structure based on functions, or import manually if you have your own group or a structure. I will show you all three ways. Select the KNX project file from your computer and upload it. If your project is protected by a password, you can enter the password here. Once the project is uploaded, you can select automatic configuration for importing the functions. On the next page, you have three options. First is to add the building structure. The second option is to search for functions and add them to the project. This is the case if you have used functions in ETS. If you want to learn more about ETS functions, we will have a video linked in the description. The third option is to add lights and blinds based on middle group addresses. In this case, you need to have your group address structure based on functions. I will show you this way later. For the first way of importing, we will only have the top two selected. Import building structure and functions. These are the rooms that have been added to the project, and these are all the components that have been added. You will have the group address on the left side of the screen, and on the right side of the screen is the information box. Below you can find the added components with the group addresses. You can still correct the group addresses if they are in the wrong place. Click Save once the group addresses are OK. If any sections are in the wrong room or outside of the building structure, you can now drag and drop the section to its correct place. I will now show you the second way to import a KNX project file. This way of importing is also automatic, so choose Automatic Configuration. This time, uncheck Search Functions and check Add Lights and Blinds based on middle group addresses. As you can see, the rooms have been added, but no components have been added yet. They will be added in the next step. Fill in the right group address for its corresponding function. For this to work, the installer has to use the middle groups as functions. Currently, we only support three functions, switch, dimming and blinds. The rest has to be added manually, which we will show later in the last way of importing. When you click Next, you will see that the components have been added. Remember to save the project before you can drag and drop the sections. The last way of importing a KNX project is with Manual Configuration. Click Manual Configuration. You will have the group address on the left side of the screen and on the right side, the information box where you can add your components. Depending on your group address structure, there is some automation you can do here. For example, you can automatically assign status messages to a component and report a whole list of components in one go. In this way, you only have to select the sending group address and the system will automatically select the status group address. If you select the middle group here, it will import all subgroup addresses under it. To add a single component one at a time, you need to select the subgroup value you want to add. So for example, with dimmers, we will then start with selecting the sending middle group value one byte and then automatically add the feedback value by selecting add additional status group and calculate the corresponding middle group by adding plus two to the middle group number. This will give us the middle group number five, which is the value one byte status. Then we can select to bind the component to a building structure or not. We advise you to import the components according to the building plan, so the components will be sorted correctly in each room. Then select the type of component, in this case it's a dimmer. Press Add to add the components. 
To manually bind a group address to a component, you can drag and drop the group address from the list to the field you want to add it to. Once you have added all components, you can click Save and drag and drop sections into the correct group if you need to. When you are done importing your project, you still need to connect the Parrot project to the device. There will be a warning in the upper right corner to remind you. Go to the Devices tab and click on the device. Then scroll down and choose the project you wish to connect the device to from the drop down menu. Thank <laughs> you.